Hi guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. I have my eggnog right here, might have a little something in it besides eggnog, and I thought I would do a little gift guide. These are things that I already own, they're not something off of a random Amazon list, they are things that I have purchased myself, that I really enjoy, that I use frequently, and so I wanted to give you, if I could pick anything that I already own, what would be the top 10 things that I would want to receive as a Christmas gift. So that's what we're going to do today, and let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so one of the first things I thought of when I was putting together this list are my Goriana necklaces. I love this brand so much. Um, if you look under their care guide on their website, they actually have what they call a happiness guarantee. So you can email their customer service if you're not happy with something, if something doesn't turn out the way you need it to, and they will take care of you. Um, they're a really amazing company, and I think their pieces are so unique and special. Um, they have lots of gold, but they also do silver. They have gemstones. They um, recently came out with a fine jewelry line, but these are all pieces from their regular jewelry line, which is just their plated jewelry. They've all held up really well, and I think they're beautiful. So this that I have on is their wrap necklace, and I will link all of these below. Um, but then I also have this compass necklace, which is just beautiful. Um, I love the little chain that comes on it, and I also have this pearl necklace, and it has like a little pearl disc and kind of a bigger chain link there, and it's so stunning. Um, I'll try these all on for you so you can see them up close. Um, I love layering these, and they are fairly inexpensive for the quality that you're getting, and I think they're beautiful. So I can't recommend these highly enough. These <laughs> are actually on my own Christmas wish list this year. Um, there are several more pieces that I want to add to my collection. They also do earrings and bracelets and all kinds of things like that. Um, I love their necklaces, but I would be happy to get any piece from them. I think they're beautiful. So here is what this wrap necklace looks like, and they have a single version um, that doesn't have the wrap, it's just the single chain, and um, that one is beautiful as well, and I can link both of them. They even have a mini version that is a little bit of a smaller chain link. I really love this version. Um, if you watch the show Dead to Me, she wears the single version of this, and that's what made me want to get into these. Um, but I love this. This can be worn as a wrap like this. It can be worn as a long chain necklace that you know would come down a lot farther about here um, it can be worn as kind of a lariat necklace or Y necklace um, because this clasp opens here and the clasp is meant to be worn in the front like this but you could wear it in the back as well and that would also be pretty so there are so many ways to wear this it's such a versatile piece and I feel like it's just something that it goes with everything and just looks beautiful. And here's an example of what it looks like when it is not wrapped. So this is the full length of the necklace. And again, it's just beautiful. Here is their pearl necklace. It is a flat kind of disc pearl. And you can see that's the width of it right there. So it's really thin and flat. It has this little gold dot detail, which I think is pretty. Um, it has a little gold dot on the bottom there as well, and then it has kind of a similar chain to the wrap necklace, but this one is a little bit more dainty, a little bit tinier, and like I said, I love layering this. Um, I think that all of their pieces work great for layering, and that's something that they're known for, um, but this one in particular is really pretty layered. It's also pretty on its own, and I think it really elevates an outfit. So this is their compass necklace and it has this kind of a coin stamped look to it with the compass and it's so pretty, it has the north, south, east, west there and the compass rose and then has this really pretty chain with these little ball details here. Um, I just think this is such a classic piece, this layers really well, I like to layer it with the pearl necklace so I think this one is beautiful and it's a really classic choice. You can't go wrong with that one. So the second item I wanted to share are my Sperry Saltwater Duck Boots, and I have two pair. So um, this is a pair that has a fabric upper and um, this really cute pink sole, 
and then this gray rubber here. Um, they have like a barrel tie, so you don't actually tie them, um, but they just do have a zipper that you can go in and out of. They're a little bit loose at the ankles, so they slip on really easily, and they're padded, so they're incredibly warm, which is I appreciate a lot. Um, they're fully lined, and they're great for rainy weather or when it's just a tiny bit of snow. Um, I really appreciate having these in the Midwest and I think they're stylish as well as functional. So I have this pair, love those. And then these would have to be my favorite. These are a classic um, Sperry duck boot look and I think they're gorgeous. Um, they are a brown leather and black with this kind of camel color on the sole. Um, these are real leather. They feel incredibly soft. They smell really good when you first get them. Um, again, they have that zipper and um, I just love these. They're so functional, but I think they're really cute. Wear them with a pair of skinny jeans and you're going to be warm in the winter. I tend to wear this pair more into the late fall and winter and then I start reaching for this pair more in the spring but they have a million colors and styles so you can't go wrong with anything that you choose and they um, are expensive full price but you can find coupons a lot especially on the Sperry website um, they also sell them on shoes.com so I'll link to both of those but I highly recommend these I think they are wonderful Next is a beauty favorite, and this is kind of a general gift, but I have a few examples that I wanted to show you. So I think anything from MAC is a really great gift. Um, it's something that maybe somebody wouldn't want to splurge for themselves, but to get that for a gift would be really exciting. I know I would appreciate anything like that. So I have several eyeshadow brushes. Um, MAC and Sigma eyeshadow brushes are all I use. I love them and these have lasted me for years. Um, you clean them and they clean really well and they last for a long time. I'll link to these specific ones below, um, but I have a pencil brush, a flat shader brush, a kind of liner brush, and then kind of a fluffier blending br brush. So these are all wonderful. Um, another thing that I like are their liners, and I have the shades Whirl and Soar and Brick. I would say the three, Brick is definitely the most unique. It's a dark red, and it's really great under any red lip. And then finally, I wanted to share this lipstick. This is, I think, the only lipstick I have purchased in 2020 because it's not really a year conducive to that. But lipstick makes me really happy, and I usually wear it all the time. Uh, but just didn't have a chance to that much this year. But this is one of their most famous shades. This is Chili, and it is a matte lipstick, but if you're familiar with MAC, um, their matte lipsticks can be a little drying. I can't wear Ruby Woo, for example, even though I think it's a gorgeous shade. This is a matte lipstick, but I say it definitely feels more like a satin or even a cream. Um, that's what I'm wearing right now, and it feels very, very comfortable. Um, it's not drying at all, and I think it's beautiful. So this is one of those gifts that doesn't really cost a lot, but it's just something that people don't tend to necessarily go and buy themselves. So if you got them something like this, it would be a great stocking stuffer or small gift or bundle a few brushes together and it would be a really great gift. Here's a closer look at that chili shade. It's just so pretty. I love this one. This 
next gift probably doesn't come as a surprise to a lot of you if you've been around my channel for a little bit, um, but that would be any kind of Coach small leather good. Um, Coach purses in general are probably out of a lot of people's budget as far as a gift, especially if it's not for a very close family member, um, but I think you can get a lot of bang for your buck with their smaller items. So something like a card holder, or a small wallet um, is really great. Anything like this where you get that brand name and you get that really good quality, um, it'll you know be an impressive gift, but it won't cost an arm and a leg. I think something like this would be a really fun gift and it would be something that's probably unexpected, but I know that most people would really love this one. Okay, this next gift is probably not unique. I'm sure there are other people that have it on their list, but I wanted to mention it because I think it's that good, and that is Barefoot Dreams. Anything Barefoot Dreams is going to be a really good gift. So I started with this kind of ratty looking uh, cardigan. I've had this for several years, so um, it doesn't look as good as it used to. But I have that hooded cardigan. I also have the circle wrap cardigan. And I have this kind of drape front cardigan here. And I'll show you what these look like on in a minute. But I also wanted to talk about their smaller gifts. So um, their cardigans can be cheaper on QVC and Nordstrom Rack. They have sales a lot. But they also sell uh, items that are going to be even cheaper than that. So things like socks. Um, they're really cozy and comfy. Um, this is what they look like when you purchase them and I haven't opened this pair yet. So it comes with this little cute bow and it's just really sweet. They're super soft and cozy. This is a really good 2020 gift. And then also they have these really cozy squishy throws. This one is a really gorgeous squishy creamy color and has this white stripe on the edge and it's just so pretty. But more than anything, it's cozy and soft. This is one of those blankets you just want to carry around with you all day and wrap yourself in. Um, I love this thing. It's perfect for if you're feeling under the weather or you're just extra cold. It's nice to have that on hand. And this is a great gift. Um, they have these at Nordstrom Rack all the time. And I'll see if they have them on QVC as well. But I can't say enough good things about these. So anything Barefoot Dreams I think is a huge win. Another great favorite that I wanted to mention are the SC gel polishes. I've talked about these several times, as you know, but there's a reason for that. It's because they're so good, and I think that they would make a really great stocking stuffer. So this is the top coat. You have to have the top coat with it. This is the shade I'm wearing today, and it's called Sage You Love Me, and it's this really light green, really pretty color. Another couple of favorites that I think would be really great Christmassy gifts are Bubbles Only, which is just kind of that classic red, perfect for this time of year. And this one is Diamond in the Cuff, and it's this gorgeous shimmery pink color. And then I've also mentioned a couple of these in my Friday favorites, but this is Pave the Way, which is a deep gray. And then Model Clicks, which is a deep burgundy, really pretty color. And then this one is Caviar Bar, which is a dark blue. These are all gorgeous shades, and you can't go wrong with any of them. But this formula is so good. It lasts on your nails for a long time, longer than any other polish I've ever used. So I think these would make a great gift, and they're really fun, inexpensive, and would be a good stocking stuffer. And here are those shades up close. You have Bubbles Only, 
Pave the Way, Diamond in the Cuff, really pretty sparkly shade. The shade I'm wearing today, which is Sage You Love Me, and it's this really pretty green. And then we have Model Clicks, one of their famous ones. It's that burgundy and Caviar Bar, which is that really pretty dark blue. Next up, I wanted to talk about the Daisy Rose brand that they sell at Walmart. Um, I bought these off of Amazon, but they're now sold on Walmart. So they're just as easy to buy there, and I really like these. So I showed these in my handbag collection video, but these are their totes, and they're obviously a Louis Vuitton inspired bag. Um, I really like them. I prefer the brown, but you can't go wrong with either, um, and they're pretty inexpensive. And if you wanted to do a smaller gift, but have that same uh, Louis Vuitton inspired style, they have this really great makeup case, um, and I think it's a really good size. So it can hold a lot, great for travel or for keeping it home and keeping your makeup in. And then I have this wallet actually in the brown print, um, but I also have it in this one and just haven't used it yet. As you can see, it's still got the tags, but the brown one is wonderful. I've used it every day for a long time now and it's great. It's just a snap wallet. Um, it has a lot of card slots and room for money and coins, it has a zippered uh, compartment in the back. And these are really great. They're inexpensive. They give you that designer look. And I think these would be really fun gifts as well. Especially these if you want to do something a little bit less expensive and have more of a stocking stuffer gift. Or you could do a bag. They're still pretty inexpensive, but they would make a really good wow gift. I want to show another pair of boots and the reason I have two in this gift guide is because I live in the Midwest and I need those boots. So um, the other pair, the Sperry, I think are more for rainy weather, they're perfect for that or for some light snow. But when it comes to actually trekking through a lot of snow, a deep drift, um, this is what you're going to want to wear. So these are the North Face boots and I'll list the name below. Um, I love these things. I think for one thing, they're just gorgeous. Um, I love this sweater kind of cuff up here. I love the laces. I think those are really pretty. Um, it has the little North Face logo there and this little button and then right here on the heel. Um, this is like kind of a suede kind of feeling leather material. The inside is incredibly soft. It's got this really soft lining here and then they have good traction on the bottom. So these are your heavy duty go out in the snow boots. I love the look of them but I also love that they're uh, practical. So these were not uh, the cheapest pair of boots but they're something that is a really good investment if you live anywhere with cold weather. So I think these are an amazing gift. Love these and I'll link these below as well. The next thing is a beauty item and it is kind of a general recommendation but I have so much of this brand that I feel extremely comfortable recommending it. So this would be for the Too Faced brand and I'll show you the palettes I have. It's a little bit embarrassing how many I have um, but these are the old school palettes. They come in different packaging now. So I have the Boudoir Eyes, Peanut Butter, and Natural Eyes. The Natural Eyes is still available and it just comes in um, some really pretty packaging, probably better packaging than the tins, um, even though I think the tins are cute. Um, but this is just a really basic palette that is perfect for just an everyday eyeshadow look. So if you're not sure what to get somebody, this is a way to play it safe and give them something that they're still going to enjoy. It's really high quality eyeshadow. I love these. 
Um, the other ones I wanted to share are their chocolate bars. Um, I'm not sure if they still have these available. I know they have them at TJ Maxx. Um, but this is the chocolate bar and the semi-sweet chocolate bar. And then they have the bonbons, which is really cute because it has little heart-shaped eyeshadows, but actually wearable shades. And then this peach palette, which has some kind of summery shades. And um, actually all of these larger palettes are scented, but they're not an overwhelming scent. They don't bother you or give you a headache. Um, it's just kind of a subtle scent that is a little bit fun. So I definitely recommend any of their eyeshadow palettes. I love them. I use them at least a couple times a week. Um, the other things that I wanted to recommend are bronzers. I have this Sweetheart bronzer um, in the shade Sweet Tea. And then this one is Chocolate Soleil. This is probably their most popular bronzer. This is just one of those can't go wrong shades. They do have a light and a dark, so if you need something that is a different shade, you can get it, but this is kind of their universal shade, but you just can't go wrong with their bronzers. I think they're so good. And then another thing I wanted to mention is their uh, Better Than <laughs> Mascara. That's all I'm going to say, um, but it is a really good mascara. It's not my top pick for luxury mascara, but it is a really good one. A lot of people love this. And then I really love this Peach Perfect Foundation. This is their Comfort Matte Foundation, and it says 14-hour wear and oil control. Um, I tend to be on the combo to oily side a lot of times. So this is a really great foundation. They have a ton of shades, so you can definitely find something that will match you. Um, but yeah, any of these would be great gifts. I think bronzers and eyeshadow palettes are something that's safe. Obviously, you'd have to know the person pretty well to pick out a foundation for them, but maybe this is a gift for yourself. But the bronzers or any of the eyeshadow palettes, mascara, I think are wonderful. So I think you'd be really happy getting a gift or giving a gift from them. The next gift is something that I think is practical for this time of year, and it is actually what I'm wearing right now. It is the J. Crew factory version of their sweater blazer. And I recently picked this up and I've been wanting it for years. I also picked it up in the black and I think these are so great. They feel um, really comfortable. They are not itchy at all, but they make you look like you're dressed up and put together, but they're not like stiff or uncomfortable like a normal blazer might be. So I really appreciate these. I think these are great for Zoom meetings right now. Um, so I'll model these for you in just a second, but I just wanted to bring them up. I think they are an awesome present. I'll mention sizing and everything like that as well. So here's what the J. Crew sweater blazer looks like. This is the outlet version, and I love this thing so much. It is really comfortable, like I said, really cozy, but it looks put together. It has pockets right here, and just this little notch lapel there, and two button closure. Um, I have a size small on and that fits fine if I'm wearing a thinner shirt underneath. I have just a t-shirt on underneath this one. If you were going to wear this with something a lot thicker underneath, like a sweater itself, then I would definitely get your regular size. But if you're just going to wear something thin underneath like this, then I would definitely get a size down. So I size down to a small and I'm really happy with the way that this fits. Um, it is a slim fit and I like that. I wouldn't wear a sweater under a sweater so I'm good with this but some people might need more warmth and so that's just something to consider but other than that I think it is great. Love the length. The sleeves are plenty long. It is a longer length blazer um, and I just really like this one a lot. I'll show you what the black looks like really quickly too. Here is the black same size and shape as the camel color but I just wanted to show you what it looked like on really like this one too got a size small again but yeah I love these these are something that I've wanted for a long time and I finally bit the bullet but um, it's something that I think would be a really special gift I think this is a really great alternative to a really heavy-duty blazer especially for someone who needs to be professionally dressed but who still wants to be comfortable so love this one
Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to mention is something that's more of a general idea, but I think it is worth mentioning. Um, and that would be a gift card, but specifically to Express. I thought about all the places that I like to shop the most, and the place that I think is the most versatile and would be the most appealing for the most amount of people would be Express. And that is because I feel like they have everything under the sun. They have a lot of dressed up pieces, they have um, a new cashmere line that they've come out with, but they also have a lot of sweats and comfy clothes, they have accessories, they have shoes, they have coats. There's really no limit to what they carry. They always have good sales. Um, they've been having a lot of them right now, but they really do have them quite often and they have coupons quite often, so you're never paying full price. I used to think that maybe the prices were going to be a little too high for my budget, but they really aren't because you can always use a coupon or some sort of discount. Um, You've seen me wear this piece several times in several videos, but I love this necklace. This is from Express. I wear this so much, and I think it's beautiful. Um, I haven't shown this blouse in a video, but I recently picked this up. I think this was on clearance, and I'll have to see if it's still available. But it's just a half sleeve um, blouse with this little tie here, and it's so delicate and pretty. This could be worn with jeans, or it could be worn dressed up. And then in my workwear video that I did a little while ago, I showed you this blazer. Um, this looks like a Balmain blazer in the way that it's cut and styled. The silhouette is very, very similar, and this is absolutely beautiful. It's extremely high quality, and I think the regular price, the regular price was 158 but there's no reason you'd ever have to pay 158 Like I said, their sales are amazing. I got this at least half off, I think a lot more than half off, and then I even bought the matching pants to go with it. Um, the reason they have the tag still on them is because it's 2020, but they were too good for me to not scoop up, so I did go ahead and purchase them because I know that eventually we will be back into regular life and we will be dressing up and going places more. I'll link my recent Express hauls down below if there is something that you want to check out specifically. But in general, I just love Express. I think they have so many pieces that would appeal to so many people. Um, I think it's really a place where you can find something for everyone. So I highly recommend that. And that is it. Alright, that does it for my gift guide. I hope this was helpful. I didn't want to just put together a list of random things. I wanted to put things that I actually own and use and love. And so that's what I did and I hope it was helpful for you guys. Maybe it gave you some ideas for gifts for someone else this year that you can pick up before Christmas time or maybe it's something that you want to spend gift cards on that you get for Christmas or just something that you want to pick up for yourself. There's no shame in that. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite item was. What would you like to get out of this list? I would love to know. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss any of my videos. And give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this gift guide. I will talk to you in the next one. I hope you're having a great holiday season and take care. Mm -hmm.